Hello children. So children, today we are going to learn an interesting topics. So today we are going to start with our workbook, worksheet number four, five, and six of chapter number six, the three houses. So let us start. So the first exercise, the first first worksheet is. Look at the picture. Circle the correct letters to complete the name of the picture. So you can see the picture like this. Two options are given, and you have to fill this blank. So what you can see here, it is a bell. Yes. So it starts with bell, b. We can sound b, l. So. E double L or A double L. What will come? Bell. So B E double L bell. If we write B A double L, it's become ball. Yes, and this is bell. All right. Now moving to the second picture. You can see a beautiful girl is making bubble. So. Yes, B U dash dash E. What is what will come here in the blanks? U double N or double B L B B L. So double B L is the correct answer. What is the spelling of B B L? B U double B L E B B L. Then. what you can see here grass in our school also there is a big playground with the green grass yes so what will come g r a double n or a double s gran grass so the answer is g r a double s grass Children, there are few more pictures in your workbook that you have to turn it by your own. Then, now this is very interesting topic that is creative writing. Now, what is the meaning of creative writing? So, children, before starting anything, I have heard that you people speak so well in English. That means you will be able to write too. Right. So let us see few examples. So creative writing means writing that express your ideas, thoughts in an imaginative way. Creative writing is something where you can write your own ideas and thoughts. You don't need to copy it from anywhere. Whatever you know about it, you can write in it. in an imaginative way in your own way to make a creative writing little easy there are some points which you can remember every time when you are writing something so when you write something on any object there are few points which are always common so let us begin with that so the first is name So children whenever you are writing something on any object first you have to introduce that with a name with a name all right for example if you are uh, if you have a picture of pencil so you can write this is a pencil yes then second is color and appearance color means the color of that object or how it looks appearance means how does it looks so you can see uh, uh, like um, i the color of the pencil is red or it is very sharp it is in triangular shape right so this way you can describe that object third is shape and size yes so the shape of the pencil like it is very long short it is thin it is red in color 
then it is very sharp you can describe it in your own imaginative way then useful what is the use of that object that also you can write for example i used to write with my pencil i used to draw something with my pencil then harmful means every time it is not necessary that object is always useful sometimes it may harm you for example if you play with your pencil it harms you you can hurt with that sharp pointing lead right so that also you can write then where do you find like that object where do you find that object so you can find your pencil in your compass box you can find that pencil in the stationery shop so all that things you can write and last is do you like or dislike now children every time it is not necessary that you like that object right sometimes you may not like so you can write in your way that why do you like that object and why you don't like that object all right so now let us see few examples on the picture that is given in your worksheet number 5 <coughs> so children in this picture what you can see you can see dog bone right you can see bone here then cat canal grass hen fence right so these all things you can see here now we are going to describe this picture in our own way so this is what my way you can also write in your way so first is this is a canal a canal is a dog's house yes this is called a canal and it is a dog's house it is made by a people that also you can write okay then second is the cat is sitting on the canal cat is sitting on the roof of the canal you can mention everything here then the color of the hand is red and white or you can also say the hand is sitting on a fence then there is a green grass right there is a big garden you can write then the color of the canal is red and yellow so you can write that also the color of the object that we have discussed before then a dog loves to eat chew bone so what does dog love it loves to chew bone now children uh, finish your work do your task well and enjoy your day happy learning